Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Previously, I've talked about the Versa Money Booster campaign and I've mentioned that I will test it out myself to see the returns on the campaign on whether the old campaign or the new campaign is better. So today, I'll be providing you an update for the May returns. The old campaign previously was more straightforward at 4% base net returns while the new campaign returns fluctuates every month. So I plan to track it for at least 6 months and keep you guys updated. If you wish to know more about this campaign, do check out all my previous content in the description as I previously talked more details about it. So the latest update on this campaign is that it runs until 2024 December if you can see on the screen here. So it runs until 31st December 2024. So just uh, to take note of it, make sure you subscribe to the auto debit before this date to enjoy the campaign. Okay, so let's jump right into the statistics. Okay, so I've actually done a spreadsheet to track the returns. So the link for the spreadsheet is actually down in the description below. So you guys can have a view or play around it if you want. Totally free. So for month of May, we can see that the Versa safe base net returns is 3.76%. All right, and um, the Versa growth end of month balance, uh, which I have took a screenshot on around at around 4th of June, the end of month balance is 200.91. So we can see that the total net returns after the booster rate, it's 4.76%. I've actually done a calculation on the prorated profits lah, using this formula. So, you know, feel free to let me know if there's any error in the formula. But what I want to say is that the campaign, right, the newest campaign we always seems to be on a better side compared to the older campaign, right? On first look. So as long as the Versa growth, right, the Versa invest growth doesn't fall below 1.76%, then it's always almost better than the, the, the old campaign, right? So like for me, the new campaign is a winner uh, because it has a positive returns of 0 0.000385, which is very low actually, but it's a prorated profit. Lah. So if you need to analyze this to get the annual returns, but what I want to say is that it's actually much better than the previous old campaign at as the total total returns after the booster rate is 4.76%. Okay, and also that Versa Safe hits my expected returns. Previously, I've expected about 3.6 to 3.8%. And uh, fortunately, it's within that range. Of course, more is better. And also, one thing to take note is that the difference between the, the old campaign and new campaign is that the new campaign has a cap, right? Right, if you auto debit 200 ringgit per month, you only cap 10,000 ringgit for the plus 1%. And if you auto debit 500 ringgit per month, you only have a cap at 30,000 ringgit for the plus 1%. Whereas the old campaign previously versus cash and cash I, um, up to 30,000 ringgit max for each. So you can get like up to 60,000 ringgit 4% base net returns. But for this campaign, it's only up 30,000 cap max for versus cash or versus cash I. Now, so the, the, this is are the eligible funds. So I will not talk too much more about it because my sole purpose is to test whether the old campaign or the new campaign is better so i'll leave this in the description as well so you guys can have a read through uh, regarding the campaign so i think this is the only current promotion with versa obviously the promotion has ended but they also have this um versa prs uh, campaign as well that has the 50 ring bonus but this is going to end soon this will end at 30 june 2024 yeah so this is the prs campaign so yeah i guess that will be it so in summary um for the month of may the new campaign is better than the old campaign right so the new the, the winner for for the month of may is actually the new campaign so for the next month i will do another calculation on the awaited average returns so i'll keep you guys and updated in my channel as well so as always i'm always open for feedbacks and discussion do let me know down in the comment section if my calculations has some error or this is not the right way to calculate the the net returns yeah i'm always open for feedbacks and discussion as usual you know if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next